Hi guys, it's Dr. Cody Dukes and we are back again for another video. Now you already know what to do if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that bell as it'll help me get seen more in the algorithm. I'm uploading five videos a week, that's one every weekday. I cover motivational and inspirational content with a pop culture twist. I look at everything from movies to comic book characters, superheroes, anime, sports, you name it. I try to find the motivational aspect of it and present it in a way that you can easily understand it and then implement it into your daily walks of life. So if that sounds like something that you would like, please continue to come on back here. Now with that out of the way, today I just wanted to talk real briefly about a movie that in itself is somewhat a bit uh, divisive or divisive as some would say. And it's the movie Batman vs. Superman. You know, in that movie, uh, the character Superman, he's tr basically tricked along with the character Batman into being enemies with one another. And they're tricked by Lex Luthor. And at the end of the movie, when uh, Superman goes to meet Lex Luthor when he realizes what's going on, Lex Luthor is there. And he explains to him how he was able to so easily set up Superman to fall for the okie doke, as we would say. He told Superman that when Lois Lane was out at the desert meeting with uh, some terrorists, it was easy for him to set Superman up to look like a murderer because he knew he had watched Superman for so long. And he had studied him and he knew any time Lois Lane got into something she shouldn't have been in, any time she was in trouble, any time anything went wrong with Lois Lane, that Superman would always show up to save her. And he said because Superman did that so consistently, he knew that he could count on him to show up out there with the terrorists and it would be easy for him to frame Superman for her. Uh, basically murdering an entire village. Now, while Lex Luthor used this principle in a very negative and evil way, I think so much can be said about what Lex Luthor said about Superman. Lex Luthor said that Superman was so consistent in saving Lois Lane that he knew that he could predict what Superman would do if he put Lois Lane in a situation that caused her to be in harm's way. Superman's greatest weakness in this movie was really his greatest strength. The fact that he was consistent. And for many of us, unlike Superman, our greatest weakness is not our greatest strength. Our greatest weakness is that we are inconsistent. People can't depend on us. They can't count on us to say that we're for us, count on us to do what we say we're going to do. They can't guarantee to someone else that we're going to follow through on the commitments we made. They can't really depend on us to show up. I mean, for things as small as a church or a date rehearsal, whatever it may be. So many of us are so inconsistent and we don't realize how much it's hurting us, how much it's keeping us from doing a lot of the things we really want to do. Like I said, Lex Luthor used Superman's consistency against him. But for many of us, our inconsistency is working against us. We can't get anywhere in our job or career field because we're so inconsistent. We can't uh, get any good grades because we won't do any of the work consistently. We can't even develop deep and meaningful relationships with others because others can't depend on us to do and be who we said we would. And because of this, 
we often found, find ourselves living lives that aren't quite fulfilled. So what's the point? The point is, is that if you can master consistency, consistency will build in you dependability. When others see that you are consistent, then others will have no problem depending on you. Others would have no problem throwing more responsibility on you when you've shown them over a period of time that you can consistently do good in something else. The Bible says it like this. You have been faithful over a few things. Now I will make you ruler over many. See, many of us want to jump straight to the ruler of many when we lack the ability to be faithful over the few. We lack the consistency to stick in it even for a short while. Think of it. It only takes about 21 days to build a habit. And some people would argue another 10 days to cement it as a practice. 21 days of consistency turns work into a part of who you are. But many of us are so inconsistent that we'll never make it to 21 days. And because of that, we never make it to habit and we never make it to something being a part of our daily lives. So, guys, here's my challenge. I just want you to pick one thing, one small activity, one practice that you don't currently do, but it's something that you believe would be beneficial to you. For some of you, it may be exercise. For other people, it may be reading. For others, it may be uh, listening to educational podcasts. For me, right now, I'm currently working on work, waking up at 5 a.m. every single day. Whatever it is, just pick one thing that you do not currently do. And I want you to practice it over the next week, not even 21 days, just seven days. Practice doing that one thing every single day consistently. And I'll tell you what'll happen. If you can do it for seven days, one of two things will happen, or both. Now, when building a habit, you often run into this wall of, oh man, this isn't fun anymore. And since I don't have it as a habit or a part of my daily life yet, it's still work for me to do it. You get almost burnt out on it. But what can also happen is that the fact that you make it to seven days doing something that you don't already have as a part of your daily life, it's not a habit. And you said seven days ago that you would do it. It creates an accomplishment, a, a sense of accomplishment. And what you'll find is that if you can feel accomplished after seven days, you might be willing to challenge yourself to do it for 14, then maybe 15, then maybe 21. And before you know it, it's a habit. And then maybe you push it for another 10 days and before you know it. Studying every day is a part of your daily life. Reading is part of your daily life. Exercise. For me, waking up at 5 a.m. Whatever it may be, I just want you to work on building some consistency with one thing. Because once you do it, you realize that this principle of consistency doesn't just work for that one thing. You can take it and you can apply it to other things. See, you start off with exercising every day, and then once you learned and mastered how to do that, then you say, well, let me try to apply this same principle to eating healthy, right? You start with reading every day, and once you master that, you say, well, let me try to apply this same principle to writing. You see what I'm saying? I want you to use this video as a springboard to being one of the most consistent people you know because what makes Superman such an amazing hero? And I guess 
it kind of set him up for a fail in Batman vs Superman. It's not that he's the most powerful superhero, even though he is one of the most powerful. It's the fact that he's consistent and he always shows up. He always stopped Lex Luthor. He always come to his friend's aid. He's consistent. That's my video. If you haven't already, guys, you know what to do. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything to do either one of those, but it'll help me immensely as I try to grow this channel. I'm uploading five videos a week. That's one every weekday. I cover motivational and inspirational content with a pop culture twist. I look at things like movies and sports, uh, current events, anime, you name it. I try to find the motivational aspect of it and deliver in a way that you can digest it, internalize it, and then implement it into your daily life. Guys, if you know someone who can learn from my lessons, Please share my content with them. Please send them to my page. And continue to come back. Until next time. Peace.